So you want to learn Angular in 2021? Well, you reach the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. So a lot of you guys came into the video trying to figure out, should I learn Angular and uh, is it a good allocation of time to learn Angular? And the, quick, the answer to the short answer is yes, especially if you're a web developer, you do a lot of front end work, especially with Microsoft. Uh, Angular is one of those top frameworks that you use in JS. And um, especially if you got up and coming Angular projects or you got a client who, who use a lot of Angular, jump on that Angular bandwagon if you are a front end developer. Myself, I'm more of a data database developer. So I, I don't use a ton of Angular. I have projects that has it integrated in it, but I have other developers who do that type of work for me. But at the end of the day, I need to be able to identify the code. I need to be able to troubleshoot the code and I at least need, need, need to know the basics of Angular and knowing how to communicate all the different components of Angular. So from a general perspective, I think everybody should at least know what Angular is, what it does, what the use case, and um, being able to talk intelligent about the general speakings of a particular framework. And that's where I'm at with it i don't have detailed knowledge of it i'm not the best angular developer in the world but i have people on my team who do i have front-end developers who are end up in that and that's not my lane my lane is the database side and that's where i keep but i still have more of a full stack approach when it comes to applications so i can speak to it so first of all <clears throat> not you need to know you only got 24 hours in a day you got you only got eight hours or five or two in <laughs> some of your cases that um, you actually have time to learn and do projects so you don't want to be wasting time learning things that you're not going to use so again it really comes down to your client your projects upcoming projects will you leverage this is there any angular development jobs in your market um, unless you're in some of the bigger cities, um, the LA's, the Silicon, the New York's, uh, some of the bigger markets, you're not necessarily going to have a title specifically called Angular Developer in a lot of cases, unless you're in a technology specific company. A lot of the Angular development jobs are going to be kind of in line with uh, front end development. So you got to read those descriptions really, um, really carefully in my market there's very little front end development here um it's a c-sharp environment they use typescript in certain cases but out of all the companies that i know here it's only one or two firms that really focus in on front end everybody else kind of uh, do um, database or back end development but there's other markets that are actually the reverse where they actually focus purely on front end the user experience all that stuff so it really comes down to where you're trying to get a job where you're at in your career, what upcoming projects you got, and really helps what gonna help you progress your career, do those big impact projects and all that good stuff, guys. Anything that uses TypeScript and Google and Microsoft is backing is something you need to at least have in your arsenal, in your toolkit that's gonna allow you to have those skill sets to really make your resume look that good, guys. So I'm all a huge fan of that, guys. But at the end of the day, I tell you guys this, don't get overwhelmed, don't struggle, just be, have a more methodical approach when it comes to development and what you learn next based off of your projects and you'll be okay guys. Really want to start engaging so uh below in the comment section guys tell me what you're struggling with as far as just um have you had experience with angular is it hard is it easy comment below um i got this guy um brian he loves angular that's all he used and he, he he's he, he's ecstatic about it and every time you talk to him he's talking about uh angular c sharp uh what else he talk about uh <laughs> Uh, he's huge in react as well you know he does a lot of c sharp work a lot of front end stuff <laughs> he got other guys that does his back end work so 
I always talk to him when I need any kind of front end work, any kind of C-sharp work and kind of things like that. But at the end of the day, again, guys, it really come down to your market and what you're doing. So do me a favor, comment below. Uh, what's been your experience with Angular? Um, what's keeping you from learning it? Do they have jobs in your market? What has been your experience? Comment below. And uh, we'll really get into things so that we can um, help you guys out. But um, one thing I do want to tell you guys about front end development and <laughs> Angular specifically is it's highly, 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 highly competitive. I would say front end development has the least jobs on the market, but it has the most people applying. Not because the demand is low in front end development, it's just that those jobs are highly sought after for beginners and people who get started in development and a lot of people who work in UI, a lot of designers typically start that route. So it's not as many jobs out there for that, at least that's the posted ones. Uh, all true, true statement, I made a video on the secret job market. I'll see if I can link that. If not, go search for it. But um, at the end of the day, the jobs that you see on a job market are usually not the best jobs on a company's list of jobs. Usually the good jobs are taken well before they hit the public. Uh, or if a company just want to do their due diligence, they'll post a job. They already have a candidate. They just got to go through the process, but they know already know they're going to hire somebody. So the point I'm trying to make is um, taper your expectation when it comes to the front end development jobs because they're highly competitive. Um, you have to know your stuff. You need to be really dialed into that company, their needs. I told you about the three areas you need to learn. You gotta have the technical skills. You gotta have the troubleshooting skills and you gotta know the domain knowledge about that company so that you can really stand out as a developer. And even if somebody come in high, more technical than you, even and with more experience, if you're better fit in the other two areas and you have more of a um, overall balanced approach that fits better with that company overall, you will get that job over somebody who got high technical skills, but they're not really, they, they really haven't had a ton of experience that that company needs that's gonna help them with their project. So um, keep that up. So at the end of the day, guys, I'm gonna, re uh, I wanna make sure I leave this video on a good note. I don't, don't want you to discourage you from Angular. I just wanna set your expectations. And please, please, if you experience this, comment below. Cause I know a lot of you guys are struggling to find front end development work. I see that time and time again. And maybe you need to start on the back end or even um, database development to get your feet wet so that you can get that experience, you can get that domain knowledge, you can get the troubleshooting knowledge to be able to get the front end development jobs that you desire and uh, really put yourself in a position so that you can stand out versus uh, your other competitors when it comes to getting these jobs. So guys, at the end of the day, you have to start somewhere. Like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below. Go ahead and check out my seven step guide. I put links on the screen here. Go buy the premium courses. I'll see you guys in the next video.